hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Nilo and today we'll be making a short with elastic waistband and pocket is actually one of you that requested this tutorial please the only thing you will do for me is to like this video share with your friends and family okay so guys my fabric is on fold and i fold it with my biggest measurement which is the tie divided by two plus extra four inches and here i'm marking 2.5 inch for my elastic casing because i'm using a two inch elastic but if you're using a one inch elastic just mark two inches and i connected it like this okay so like i said my tie is 28 divided by two is um 14 plus extra three inches that is what i have here okay so that is what how you fold your fabric so from this line i'm going to mark my hip measurement hip line which is nine inches and at the same time i'm marking my crotch line which is 10 inches okay because i'm going to be drawing two lines there now my hip line is this first line nine inches and then the second line is my crotch line to get your crotch depth is your hip divided by four minus one inches if you're making a low waist pant this one is not a high waist okay so here i'm marking the length 19 inches plus folding allowance 1.5 inch for folding allowance so you start your measurements from this first line here okay the upper 2.5 inches i marked earlier was my elastic casing okay all your measurements should start from that line so I'm trying to just make sure that my line is straight. That is what I'm, make, I'm marking now. Okay. So um, now I'm going to mark my hip divide by four on the waistline plus one inch for ease because I want the shot to be free on me. And I'll do the same thing on the hip line here. The hip divide by four plus one inch. And I'll extend it to the crotch line just like this. And I'll connect it upward to the waistline like this okay so now i'm going to mark your crotch extension you divide your hip divide by four like my hip divided by four is 11 11 divided by four again whatever i have i'm going to mark like this that's my crotch extension okay you divide quarter of your hip divide by four quarter of my hip is 11 11 divided by four is what I mark as my crotch extension, as simple as that. And I'll connect like this, and then next I'll just curve it like so. Okay, so on the tie, I mean, on the hemline, I'm going to mark my tie divided by two because I want it to be free. I want the pants to be free on me. So I mark my tie divided by two, which is four, 24. My tie sorry my tie is 28 divided by 2 is 14 so to mark your crush curve just come out here by 1.5 if you're finding it difficult to curve it very well as you can see just mark 1.5 on your curve and i'm done with the front panel so now i'll be cutting it out cut 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 okay so now i'll just open up this part because it's actually on fold and after this i'm gonna fold my fabric again to cut the back panel it's very easy very simple okay this is actually the third short knicker tutorial i'm doing on this channel and they all have different method okay they are all different so anyone you like you can use the method so I'm folding my fabric again into two and I'll just place the front one on top, making sure I have excess at the crotch side, like two, two inches excess at the um, tie, I mean, inseam side. Okay. So as you can see, I'll extend this waistline here by one inch. I'm looking for my chalk. Okay. So one inch. And then I'm going to connect it down to the waistline like this. The waist, the side seam supposed to be the same, just the inseam that will be at least longer. So now I'm going to be adding two, two inches at the side inseam like this. Two, two inches. Even on the crotch, two inches, two inches. Okay, so you just connect straight and that's all. OK, 
okay so you just connect this with a straight line like this and you curve your crotch side okay so you just curve this point like this okay and we are done with the with the back panel also and now i'm just gonna cut 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 this okay so i'll just cut this waist side like so like i said the side supposed to be the same it's just the inseam that will be a little bit longer than the back if you have a client that is very healthy at the back side you need to use 1.5 to 2 inches for her okay so the client that is very healthy behind use 2 to 1.5 to 2 inches for the extension of the waist for her so here is my pocket this is um two pieces is seven inches on fold and then the length is 11 inches like this is 11 inches okay seven inches 11 inches so when you open it up it's 14 11 inches 14 like this is 14 11 inches length so when you fold it is seven inches 11 inches long and it's two pieces here i folded two here because it's for the it's two pockets so here i marked seven inches from this point down seven inches and then make sure this side is the folded part and then you go in by two inches like this and just curve this way so i'll cut this out i'll cut this out yep so now i'm going to bring the front panel short this is the front panel and remember what we marked here is 2.5 okay so let me remeasure it we marked 2.5 like this and then from that line i'm going to mark two inches down so you, you measure what you have so it's 4.5 now right so um just bring the front side of your short turn to the front panel and you mark the 4.5 like this okay sorry guys you guys are not seeing so you mark 4.5 like this and from this point you mark half inch on your pocket and from that half inch you mark 6.5 inch down 6.5 inch down and you place it like this okay and sorry guys so what i did was to mark 4.5 to this point and i marked half inch down half inch down here and then from that half inch i marked 6.5 this is on the pocket on the wrong side of the pocket so you place the pocket right side facing the right side of the shot okay and you go in by half inch like this half inch here also and then you connect sorry not half inch 0 0.75 okay 0 0.75 that's quarter inch and then you connect you're going to sew this way here down and this way also so let me do the same thing for the second leg of the short so here i'm going to mark four inches downward from the waist 4.5 sorry 4.5 and then i'll place the right side of the pocket facing the right side of the shot like this okay so you mark half inch down from the pocket and from that half inch you're going to mark 6.5 inches like this and then you come in by 0 0.75 like this okay and then you connect with the straight line so you can use 0 0.5 or 0 0.75 they are all still okay so you place that marked place make sure it matches the the where you marked your 4.5 and then you sew as you can see i've sewn this one okay and this is how i'm going to notch it just look closely i notched slightly like this okay and i'll notch this side also you just slant it into that corner that angle don't cut through like this okay so this is what i'm talking about as you can see 
and then you're gonna turn it over like so bring it out like this okay you can go and iron this out iron it out but i don't have light right now guys no light so <laughs> i'm just doing the tutorial <laughs> okay so after ironing and you use this inside one to close it up like this okay you just use it to close it up like this and make sure the sides align with each other you are just replacing the 0 0.75 inch you sew that from use with the pocket okay so you just match them like this make sure this point match and here also match okay so you're just gonna pin the upper side like so you just pin the upper side and after pinning you turn to the wrong side and sew your pocket okay you turn it over and sew like this with half an inch just like i did to this second one as you can see i've sewn it like this okay and the side is matching each other and i'm feeling my pockets okay so here as you can see it matches each other so that is the same thing you're going to do for this one so let me repeat myself again in case you don't understand after sewing your notch you flip over like so like so and you take the other side of the pocket and close it up like this this is replacing the 0 0.75 inch you sewed out you replace it back like this okay and you use your needle and secure the upper part and then you go to your machine and close up your pocket so when you do it this way you notice that your pocket matches each other at the inside but if it doesn't match it means you have made an, a mistake okay so you close this up as you can see my pocket is matching each other you sew with half an inch you close up your pocket so i'll go and do that and i'll be back so yeah guys i'm done I'm done closing up the pocket area. So what I'm going to do now is to place my two front side. Uh, this thing refused to come out though, but I'm, uh, I'm leaving it. It's mine. It's not a client one, so nothing spoiled. So I placed my front part right side facing each other. Okay. And I'll just close up the crush area. I'll sew the crush area like so. And I'll repeat the same to the back panel. So here is the back panel. You match them right side facing each other and you close up the crush area you sew the crush area like this with half an inch so here i'm done doing that next i'm going to open this up like this and i'll place the front panel on the back right side facing each other like this and i'll sew the side seam using half an inch i'll sew from the waist down to the hem with half inch 0 0.5 inch from waist down to the hem okay you do the same to this side from the waist down you sew with half inch okay so i'm trying to repeat myself in case if you don't understand after sewing your crotch for the front and the back you place them right sides facing each other and close with half an inch that is what i said okay you sew not close sorry you sew them with half an inch okay you sew with half an inch so i'll do that and i'll be back so here i'm done i've sewn the side seam with half an inch so i'll just turn this out to the right side okay so this is the back side and here is our front as you can see the pocket is here okay the pocket is here so now i'm going to fold the down the hem okay i like folding my hem before closing the inseam okay it makes it easier for me so i'll just go over to the machine and i'll close the hem so this is the elastic i wanted to use <laughs> it's almost two inches wide 
but I changed my mind. I'll be using this one inch. I'll use that one for another thing because that one was difficult for me to get from the market itself. So now I'm going to fold the hem. I'll fold half inch first and then I'll fold up the one inch. Okay. This is the 1.5. You fold half inch first of all and then you close up the one inch like this you fold the remaining one inch like this and then you sew that is what i'll do for the two legs so here guys i've done that as you can see i've done that i've closed up i've sewed the hem of the short just like that and now i'm going to close the inseam so make sure this crotch area matches this other one like this and then you start sewing you sew from there up to this one here and you do the same thing to this other side also you sew up to the hem here and that's all okay so guys i've done that as you can see i've closed up my crotch area so now is to fold in this so you start folding from the front side okay you start folding from the front side you fold in half inch and then you further fold in your remaining two inches so make sure your pocket is lying like this this is you see this place is open so that is what you are going to use to close it up so i'm bringing out my pins so you fold half inch like this and you fold in your remaining 1.5 or 2 inches so make sure it's closing the pocket it's touching the pocket area at least with half an inch so i'll be pinning this round before i go stitch so you fold half inch first then you fold in your two inches or whatever allowance you added if you add two inches that means you're going to fold half inch and then 1.5 inch or if as i added 2.5 i folded half inch and then two inches okay so that is what i'm folding right now and I'm, i make sure it closed the pocket area and i'm going to do that round so i'm done pinning it round i'll just go and sew so here guys i'm done stitching it and i left an opening one side here as you can see the pocket is concealed already the pocket is concealed okay so make sure this back side is aligning with each other if it's much just make a little bit of pleat i'm trying to show you guys but this thing is not focusing okay just pleat a little but make sure this place you pin this down here before you pleat because definitely you have a little bit of something like excess so just pleat it it will not show on the right side no okay so here is my space. I'm going to pass my elastic through there. So my elastic is my waist minus 5 inches. My waist minus 5 inches. That is what I cut out. Okay. My waist is 30, 38 minus 5 is 33, right? So that is what I cut out. And I'll just pass this through the hole or the space I left for it like this. So when you get to this last point, you pin this down so that it will not follow you again and you start from the beginning. Okay, so you pin it and then you push out this other one. So it's out now. I'm done passing this other one. So I'll just open this up and remove this pin here and match them together like this. Okay, make sure it's not folding in any way. It did not squeeze in any way and you close it up so here guys i'm done closing it up as you can see so i just put it back here like this and i'll go and secure the space i'll close up the space and we are basically done with our shirt okay so can you feel my pockets here is my pocket and my shirt is ready okay thank you guys so much for watching and i'll be seeing you in my next tutorial i love you guys bye please like and share subscribe if you've not done so bye